Okay, listen. Technically, the day has already started, but I want to vlog on YouTube. I started on TikTok, and I was like, no. Mm -mm. No. No, no, no. I'm coming to YouTube today. I just came back from Orange Theory. I have nothing to say about it. It was rough today. I have another trip coming up. This one is to the Caribbean. Ah! I'm so excited. For some reason, I booked it out of Birmingham. I don't know what I was thinking. I just, I have a lot of questions, but I want to change it to be out of Atlanta because it goes from Birmingham to Atlanta, Atlanta to St. Kitts. So I just want to cut off the first half. Like, I'll just start from Atlanta. Please don't make me drive to Birmingham. I tried to call Delta and they're like, oh yeah, sorry. Like hold is 25 minutes, no call back. Usually that you can put your number in and they'll just call you back when you're number one in line. I'm like, who really wants to sit on hold for 25 minutes? I can't imagine anything worse. Also something terrible. I don't think I have any espresso pods left. I'm just gonna use one of these ice pods, but it's coffee, not espresso. So it makes like a large cup of coffee. Yeah, you whatever. You get it. You're smart. I know you are. See, very large. It's hot, so I'm, I'm gonna let it cool down before I put ice in it because one thing, I do not like watery coffee. I do not understand how people just take hot coffee and pour ice in it and then do their normal thing and drink it. That's water. You're drinking. Yo, no. Breakfast, I have decided. Uh, toaster strudel. Why did I forget the name for a second? And these are the cream cheese and strawberry. Should we? Whoa, whoa. I decided to fill up this glass with ice. Here's the coffee. I'm gonna pour it into this one and then back into this one. Okay, I'm scared that, mm. Yikes! Why is it, why does nothing pour straight? Please stop, please, I'm begging you, please stop. Oh my gosh, absolute mess. Wow, have mercy. It takes me so long to get my day started because I just, go so slow like sloth pace i'm gonna froth up some creamer still have a good amount of this white chocolate raspberry it's so delicious but you guys have been telling me to try the cookies and cream and the s'mores by chobani so that is up next i have my whole nespresso set on my amazon storefront if you're trying to make coffee at home and save money this is probably the best decision I ever made. I had a full-blown raging addiction to Dunkin' Donuts before I came to Jesus. This thing is piping hot, but look at the filling. Mm. All part of this nutritious breakfast. <laughs> now I need to shower, rinse off the body. I don't think I'm gonna deal with my hair today. I just need to get out. I need to get out. It's, it's noon. Oh my God, Sophia. Quick intermission before the shower because I just put on this new bikini that I ordered. It's so cute, guys. It's so cute. Okay, we don't need to... This is... I know. Strawberry Milk Mob. See the bead details right in the middle and on the sides. Tell me this is not so freaking cute. And if you're built like me, this is a large. If it's good, one of the sisters is built like this, so she always makes sure that her sister is included and can wear the bikinis that the other sister makes. You see what I'm saying? Okay, I just French braided my hair. Cute, right? Ow! Wrong. Rat tail. Now, how am I supposed to blend this in? Let's do quick makeup. I always start with sunscreen. I rotate what exact sunscreen I use, but it's usually at least 30 SPF because I do use like retinols and peels and stuff on my face. So have to stay hashtag protected. This was the um, Dime Beauty Wonder Screen today. Okay, I just got this in PR. It's the Touche Eclat from YSL. Did I even say that right? It's supposed to be Radiant Glow Concealer. I'm really excited to try this because I've only seen rich people use this before. I can't wait for my bank account to just become super fat after this application. Blendy blend. Okay, she does look radiant, doesn't she? We're going to use this $3 Wet n Wild contour stick. This one is not scary to work with because it blends out so well. Also, on the jawline for good measure. Blush, I used this yesterday. Ready to go. It's a milk makeup blush lip tint stick. I messed that up. Anyways, it's in this deep purpley looking color. I love how it looks on my skin. I feel like it's almost the perfect like slightly sunburnt kind of look and I do bring it up a little, a little high. Oh gosh, I look like I have the plague. And since this is a cream product, I think honestly the fingers really help to work it into the skin better. Tiny pump of this Ofra liquid highlighter in Cupid. I love 
pink highlighter. Oop, a little on the nose. So I'm thinking I'll go to the post office first because I held my mail while I was out of town and I haven't really gone to pick it up. Then I need to return some pillows to Home Goods. I also need to drop off some clothes at um, Salvation Army. I don't even want to give you guys a time check right now because it's actually embarrassing how late it is. But I showered and then I posted some things on my Instagram story, linked some things. Oh, and I'm going back to South Carolina to get my nails done before my trip to the Caribbean at the end of July. I did book that. That's another thing I was doing while I wasn't showering and procrastinating. And my sister's gonna come with me and she's gonna get her nails done by Emily too. So that's really exciting. Okay, and I've been using waterproof mascara every day because the way that it holds this curl is just undeniable. Like I can't, I can't go back to regular mascara right now, okay? I'm just obsessed. All right, makeup is done. Let's get out the door. Here's the deal. I have this reusable Ross bag that I put all the stuff I'm giving the Salvation Army in, but I want to keep the Ross bag, no offense. Um, I'm giving, but I'm not that giving. It's a good reusable bag, okay? Like, and it's my only one. And if I ever decide to go back to Aldi and get embarrassed, it's always so embarrassing. I just don't know what I'm doing and it shows and I feel like people are making fun of me. Anyways, I can finally bring this because every time I get to the register at Aldi, I'm like, oh, I forget that I have to do the reusable bag thing where I have to buy them. Gonna wear my sparkly slides. I got these the other weekend in Birmingham um, at TJ Maxx and I just haven't stopped wearing them. Definitely one of my better decisions I've made recently. Got my light, got my purse. Little vintage Gucci purse moment, $90 at a secondhand store. I'm gonna look for a snack before I leave, but I probably won't like anything that I have. I'll grab one of these. Okay, ooh, yes! Dorito Takis, basically. Oh, maybe one of these. Little pine bar, something salty, something so sweet. You know what, pause, because I should definitely be putting this in my Stanley dupe. Stanley dupe? Come on, this is... <laughs> it's always so hard to get open this is a blueberry pomegranate bubbly they were buy one get one free for a case at Publix major update the clothes that y'all saw me put in that bag some of them had tags on them from TJ Maxx I was just gonna give them away but then this queen was in my comments she said I can get store credit free money free freaking money I think I have like three items we'll go there um and we'll see what i can find i also need to go to home goods so maybe i can find a tj maxx home goods hold up to the post office oh the line isn't too bad oh my lord i was in there for so long but then when i left there were like at least 12 people in line 12. there was nothing because i held my mail for a month but then two weeks in i came back in town for like two days so i just checked it and then um apparently that just like restarts your regular mail service which i kind of thought it was that but i just wanted to double check that was mm, kind of pointless but i think our next stop is tj maxx probably why do my teeth look yellow what the f no okay good thing i ordered whitening strips on amazon <laughs> Okay, we have arrived at our next destination. This is a TJ Maxx Home Goods combo, so it's perfect. God, I'm such a mess. Okay, I got $111 back. So I already bought two things. Jewelry. One for my sister, one for me. Now I'm buying a vase. I don't I feel like this would be good on my mantle, like above my TV. But I'm trying to find books because I might want to do a little bookend moment okay no big deal just a model speedboat what i feel like these bookends would be cool but i also feel like they're kind of boring i grabbed this picture frame because this blue is in my carpet and i think that will look nice next to the vase cute thanks okay i got what i showed you guys the vase and the frame at the last second i added this <laughs> these are the lumino whitening strips lumino whatever 14 of them for $23 with a mouthwash and toothpaste sample. I paid $22 for seven strips on Amazon. So I'm getting double for basically the same price. And I looked it up and it's usually $40 to $45 for this box at TJ Maxx. Now it is open, but they're like sealed and there's none taken out. So actual steal highway robbery i'm so glad i got those two errands done what else do i have oh close the salvation army let's go chopping that off i am getting it done today i'm so proud of myself oh my gosh i haven't seen this big chicken since i was a child what 
so sentimental big chicken what's or a big cluck whatever it's called i kind of want to eat there i don't even really like kfc well i guess i don't like it i just don't really think about it um but that's kind of making me want to eat there why is it there is that the first kfc i got questions okay i was headed to an antique store but i saw goodwill and i was like okay let's go there but then i also saw big lots closing gotta go i just need to see i'm nosy what are the prices okay let's see the furniture nothing good I love today. I'm so glad we're doing this together, guys. I'm mostly seeing 10% off, which I'm like, um, is that the best we can do? 10? All these aisles are closed. Okay, let's try Goodwill. Guys, I'm so disappointed because my sister's always looking for Barbie DVDs, like the old ones. So I was like, oh, heck yeah, I found one. Who the heck is Chess Burrito? So close. So disappointed. I'm currently trying to craft the perfect stack of books. I don't really care what the book is about. I'm just looking on the spine if it's pretty. <laughs> so this is what I have so far. Pinks, blues, cream. I think this is pretty cute, but I want one more. I had the Eat, Pray, Love, but I don't like the penguin there. I'm like, I'm actually being so picky. Okay, what about this? Because I realize I don't want this lady's face really showing. Oh shit. I think that's perfect. Next stop, Marietta Antique Mall. I probably shouldn't go here. I don't need to spend any more money. Okay, this place is massive. Every row is a different street name. I'm gonna have fun in here. Let's see what we can find. Shut up right now. Why do I feel like I have to get these? Honestly, I'm seeing a lot of bookends. They're just not like what I want. Like they're anchors, crowns, deer, random things. I'm just. The poodles are the first one I've been like, I mean, look, we have cats right there, ducks. This bag is precious. The way I bought this exact candle holder at an antique mall in Birmingham, it was 20 bucks. Um, this is very cool. These are definitely something, but again, not my style. No way, is this a Webkins? It is, I knew it. Definitely not the ones. Not those either. I'm disappointed because I really wanted to find something. I mean, they had really cute stuff. Like, guys, I walked that place. I got my steps in and I still feel like I was kind of rushed. There was nothing that was like perfect, had to have it. I like the poodles, but I think I have too many animals in my living room already. I don't want to throw in dogs. It was good to look and now I know that it's there and I love antique malls like that. Like, so good. I accidentally went to Chick-fil-A. I didn't want to get dinner. I just wanted to get a little snack. Mm. So I did a large fry and I used my points. So it was basically free. <laughs> it's seven o'clock. I haven't eaten because I've been running all over God's green earth, but I am going to go home and make actual dinner. Mm. Let me open up this Polynesian sauce. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't normally get Polynesian but I was just kind of feeling it. Mmm, okay. Now I have energy to make the drive home. Let's go. Here is the current credenza. These are the books I got today. As you can see, I just used these two things I already had to make bookends. This is the candlestick holder I was saying I got for like 20 bucks. I might replace the candlestick with something else. Five seconds later, I changed my mind. I found this volcano candle that I had from Anthropology. I mean, it's gorgeous, it's glittery. It needs to be out. I think that's cute, right? Okay, I got an Amazon package. Help. Yes, it is new hair growth serum. This has 5% minoxidil and it has biotin in it. I had a bottle like this, but I found a cheaper version. It's on my Amazon storefront. I think I paid like 20 bucks for my first bottle and this brand is like 18, whatever. I'll let you guys know, but I know it works, so. So here's what I'm thinking for dinner. I have these stir fry vegetables, sugar snap peas, broccoli, green beans, red peppers, carrots, water chestnuts. Ooh, I love water chestnuts. With some fried rice with tofu, which I'm gonna cook right now. And then I was looking through my freezer and I found out I have like three of these chicken pot stickers left, so I'm gonna make those too. Look at me cooking at home.
don't know if I didn't want to do it, trust me. And it's like 8.45. I've been procrastinating. Also, watching Modern Family to keep me entertained because it always makes me laugh. Like, actually out loud, screaming, crying, laughing. Tofu is cooking. I just put in some of this stir fry sauce and salt, pepper. And I'm just gonna let it go and get crispy. Now the rice is on. This is from Trader Joe's and I love it. Literally five minutes and it has such good veggies in it. Dinner is served. I just put everything in the same bowl because who cares? The tofu turned out perfect. Mm. The headband is on so that means it's skincare time. It is 2 a.m. Very exciting. I'm doing a partnership with a new clothing brand so I got to pick out a bunch of clothes. They give you a limit so you have to like meet the limit but then they give you a bunch of things to choose from so I sit there for hours trying to figure out what I want because I'm the most indecisive person. So it took me like three hours. Am I crazy? Yes. I'm using these Dr. Dennis Gross. I'm gonna say Gross. Universal Daily Peel. I got these in PR. Haven't used them up until about three days ago. And it is what it says, a daily peel. Um, it's supposed to like get rid of any texture on your skin, any redness. This isn't the most intense one. I think this is the medium level peel, but it comes with two steps so i've been doing it every night my skin doesn't feel like too incredibly dry i haven't noticed actually any peeling but every time i mention this on my tiktok people are like oh my gosh he is like the holy grail the god of skincare like the best of the best dr dennis so i'm honored that he sent it to me personally gift wrapped with a bow anything you put on your face put on your neck now we wait two minutes and then we do step two but i'm gonna end the video here because i want to put in my little whitening strips these are so amazing i noticed my teeth looking whiter the second that i take them off like the results are instant and no sensitivity can't beat it Okay, before I put the whitening strips on, thanks for spending the day with me. I had a great time. Let me know if you guys want more vlogs. I feel very accomplished. I'm glad that I got up and went and I didn't slack on any of my errands. The only thing I didn't do was go to the grocery store, but who cares? Not me, obviously, because I didn't go. <laughs> Love you guys. Good night.